Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. I'm already in a silly goofy mood, as you can tell. Well today, babes, we're going to be doing a Love Island Australia Season 3 cast review. And I'm going to be honest with you all, I'm already suffering. Because I've had a bit of a scroll, and I saw that someone has listed their occupation as hot geek. Yes! Slay the world! And disclaimer, obviously, it goes without saying that I'm not trying to bully these people or make fun of them. But if the material is there, then I am gonna say something. What do you know about bear wearing sunglasses? Nothing. Love Island! First up, we have Aaron. Aaron is 24, his occupation is model, and he's from Perth, WA. Bitch, same. Key point of information to remember, I am 25 years old. I think I'm older than almost everyone in this cast. You 38 years old, how long you gonna be doing this? What does Aaron have to say? A hopeless romantic, Aaron is a smooth talker who knows what he wants. He has a unique hairstyle and he believes the girls will love it. I'm suffering. Aaron, bestie babe. Like if you already have to whip out the Ivy unique hairstyle in the second sentence, it's gonna be tough for you. I know you're all asking, what is Aaron looking for? Generally speaking, he has gone for blondes with an honest personality, but he is open to changing things up. Aaron, give me something. Aaron, give me anything. We are in the trenches. What the hell is that? Lucky for us, they all have a video. So let's go ahead and watch Aaron's video. My friends would describe me as a pretty boy. I think most guys don't really take care of their skin the way I do. This man's a fighter, single-handedly destroying toxic masculinity. My dream girl would be blonde, tan skin, driven. Guys, I'm already fighting for my life. I know he just chucked that third one in there for clickbait. I'm everything that a girl would want for sure. I can charm your mom. What else do you want, right? What else could you want? Next, we have Ari. Yeah. Ariana Grande herself. Yeah. She's 25, occupation web content publisher. Oh, we're already gonna be besties. We've got that connection. She gets it. Or oh, here's Ari's quote. I knew something was going to happen this year. I just didn't know what it was going to be. She's got the mind of a mastermind. She's looking for a man who is adventurous and spontaneous. She's looking for Bear grills. just say it, babe. I love attention. I love it when people stare at me. I love it when people compliment me. I love it when my friends are always, you know, up my ass. What was that? Up my ass. I love it when my friends are up my ass. Really something to think about. Free my girlie from the ball pit. Balls! Yeah. Also, the Love Island uniform, which is like the bikini and the heels, screaming and crying, fighting for their lives, right? It's just sick and twisted. They can't eat a morsel if they're on this show, they're like eating breakfast in a bikini. <laughs> My perfect man would be someone who's fit, who's a great god, and someone who can wash my hands. Yeah. I know, she's taking the piss. <laughs> Next up, we have Courtney, 23, nursing student from the Gold Coast. I'm not tooting my own horn, but guys come up to me and I can find guys. Okay. <laughs> she used the Find My Guys app. Courtney can talk anyone underwater. She loves a chat. Slay Courtney. I am 23 years old. I am a student nurse and I'm from the Gold Coast. I am- Not the tongue out. Not her infringing on Addison Ray's IP by sticking her tongue out. You can't do that unless you tag Addison. Dance credit Addison. I have just been stuck in situationships. Gorilla glue girl be like. I have just been stuck. It don't move. A situation is a situation that doesn't become a relationship because boys can't commit for shit. I love the dictionary. Always been a big fan of the dictionary. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. Kissing is so important and some people don't know the motion. It's ridiculous. I'm like, what are you doing? Get your tongue out of my mouth or put your tongue in my mouth more. Your tongue's like five centimeters long. You've got to put at least half of it in someone's mouth. It's really not that. Get out of the ball pit. Chris, Riot Squad. Oh my God. I saw the name Riot Squad and I just immediately assumed it was some kind of like esports team. Yes, Riot Squad. Being good looking is a curse. <laughs> He's such a fighter, my man Chris right here. I mentioned this on my most recent podcast episode, but I do strongly believe there's a hot, funny internet fame threshold scale. Um, it's two cubic lines that go like this and it's like hot funny if you're 100 percent hot you don't have to be funny and you hit the threshold of fame but if you're like 50 percent funny 50 percent hot you still hit the threshold and then if you're like ugly then you're 100 percent funny zero percent hot and you still hit the threshold do the math christopher spent four years based in townsville in the army slay he broke up with his last girlfriend at the end of december 2018 in dramatic circumstances wait i want to find out what happened he was on a cruise in vanuatu and had to be airlifted to australia to get his appendix out 
While he was in hospital, he believed she cheated on him. Girl boss, gaslight, gatekeep. Bet she had her reasons, right? <laughs> I'd rate myself out of 10. For looks, I'd go a nine out of 10. For personality, I'd go an easy 14. Easy. Me when I lie, me when I'm delusional. Absolutely love romance. I uh, still open the door, do the dinner dates, movie nights. Personality is a massive factor for me. If we're having a good chat, if we're laughing, we're having fun all night, I want to get to know you more and I want to invest like Bitcoin. I know the fuck he- And I want to invest like Bitcoin. That gave me the ick on extreme mode. How did he manage to slip Bitcoin into there in 35 seconds? This is the worst day of my life. Like Bitcoin? Chris is 25. I am 25. What's going on here? Next up is Jess. Jess is 23. Oh, can you calm down, Megan Train? Jess is 23. She is the intimidator. <laughs> okay, slay, whatever that means. Despite her intelligence, she is tired of being judged as a dumb blonde. Stream dumb blonde by Avril Lavigne. When people meet me, they're generally intimidated by me. Sorry to interrupt the production, but just the heels in the ball pit. It's hurting me. I'm in pain. When I'm in the villa, because I know that I'm A grade, I'm looking for someone that can match me. Guys, why is Jess talking about herself like she's beef? Next up, we have Jordan. Jordan is 28. He is a business development manager from Melbourne. That XO tattoo. Isn't that from the Beyonce thing? At 28, Jordan is the oldest person in the villa. Oh. Senior citizen discount. He has a great corporate career. Red flag. He keeps going on about this unique sense of humor. So let's find out what that's about. I would describe myself as a bit of a cheeky, flirty kind of guy. I feel so bad for the neon ice cream. Everyone's just uh, all up on that. It's disgusting. Oh, disgusting shit. I just want someone that looks like me, the female version. Hmm. Didum, didum, didum. <laughs> the longer I go without falling in love, the less likely I think it is. I hope it can still happen. I'd love to meet a baby mama. Baby mama? Baby mama. Next up, we have Lexi. Next, we have Mitch. Mitch is 25 as well. Cut the bullshit. What the fuck? We look the same. We're twins. I'm sure they might label me as a ladies man or a player, but I definitely think I'm past that now. Me when I lie. Blah, blah, blah. He plays football. He had nine operations, including shoulder surgery, which ended his playing career. No. Oh no. He is now focusing on his family business, hotels, pubs, and property development. Whoa, so much. <laughs> I played some big AFL games and then I get back to my phone and there's a lot of girls sliding in my DMs. Next up, we have the girl boss that I've been wanting to talk about the entire time because of her bio. We have Rachel. She's 21. She's from the Gold Coast and her occupation is hot geek. I love Star Wars movies, Lego, and I love going to bookstores. She could not be less like the other girls. She's our modern day Bella Swan. She is Y fold slash M with more than 320,000 followers on TikTok. <gasps> okay, girl boss. Looking for a bit of a dork like her, real sweetheart, a man who's into his fitness. Humor's also important. I own two lightsabers, I have a Lego collection. My Star Wars pickup line is I've got the R2, but you can give me the D2. Nor. <laughs> the dream man would be Anakin Skywalker, you know, without the whole murder part. Overall, the girlies are light years, Star Wars pun intended, ahead of the boys in terms of personality. Like, she's giving us references, she's giving us comedy. I kind of want to see her TikToks. <laughs> I'm stressed about her comments. Let's see what they are. Oh no, or oh, no. I would love to have lightsaber jewel with my yellow lightsaber. There are many planets in the universe, but your Uranus won't be one soon. What the fuck? I'd slay my master if only to have you as my new master. It would be an honor to learn the ways of the dark side as your apprentice. Oh no. My girl Rachel is a fighter after reading these comments. Next up, we have Rane with two ends. He's 21 on fucking Mars, maybe. I learn a lot from Instagram quotes. Like my Libra energy. I learn about that from Instagram. It takes a lot for a Libra to fall in love, but once he falls in love, it's for real. I read this and I was like, it's true, it's true. Now hold on, was that an Ollie London reference? It's true, it's true. No, it's true, it's true. This is definitely fruity. I can meet girls anywhere. <laughs> at the petrol station, at the beach, in the bar. Not the petrol station, not the P-E-C-H-U-U-L with the umlau. <laughs> 
we are screaming, we are crying, we are suffering. Next up is Ryan. Ryan is 25. <laughs> Which is honestly, it's the equivalent of 50 on this show, right? The Mr. Man who was 28, they were talking about him like he's 90. That he was like in the... <laughs> Sorry. He was in the advanced queue to get AstraZeneca. I know my value and what I'm worth. I know what another person is worth. We are all worth a million dollars. I don't think that's the serve you thought it was. Babe, why not go for a billion? A charismatic alpha male, uh, just about ready to close this tab. He said he used to be the fat kid at school who played PlayStation, but that all changed when he turned 16. What happened when he turned 16? Huh? <laughs> Someone needs to tell Ryan that correlation doth not imply causation. He's all like, I used to be the fat kid at school who played PlayStation. Those two things are not necessarily linked. You rat. Ryan, 25, from the Central Coast, and I'm a carpenter. The classic alpha, boys want to be me, got the silver tongue, girls want to be with me. I got a bag full of hay. What the fuck is a silver tongue? Ain't that a lizard? <laughs> it's giving Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets parcel tongue. I'm hoping to walk into the villa and drop every single one of the girls' jaws. He scares me, sorry. Now the last lad of the evening, we've got Taku. Now, I don't want to put pressure on Taku, but all I'm saying is the bar has never been lower and I'm hoping you can raise it a little bit. Age 24 from Wollongong, rugby player. Taku says, if I'm coming on this, I want all the smoke. If you know what I'm saying, I'm a confident guy. I can't wait. Also, he's gonna fight. Please beat up Ryan. He left Zimbabwe to live in Australia 10 years ago. He has a YouTube fragrance channel. <laughs> He has a YouTube fragrance channel that started during the first COVID lockdown and has really taken off. Bestie, I'm gonna need a link. Where's the link to the YouTube channel? Babes, I can't find the YouTube channel. It's the worst day of my life. I think girls love a guy that smells amazing. I've got this one right here when I want to smell like a snack, but I'm going to be a little bit mysterious. I've got this one right here when I want to feel like I'm part of some sort of royal family. Wait, he's kind of excellent. When I put this on right now, game over, girl. The goods, baby. <laughs> The way in which I told Taku to deliver for us because we are truly in the trenches fighting for our lives with the rest of these men. And he delivered. And to wrap it up, we've got Tina. Tina is 25 and she's a PR consultant from Sydney. I think my disastrous dating history has been comic relief for most of my friends. Already standing. My name is Tina, I'm 25 years old and I'm from Sydney. In her Instagram bio, Tina has 4.78 Uber ready. Now, Tina bestie, teensty. I don't know if that is what you thought it was giving. The cruises are out, she's ready to go. Uh, yeah. She's quirky. Uh, yeah. This is how I'm feeling. We'll do toots and boots. I would say toots for all the girls plus Taku. The girls automatically get a toot just because we've seen what they're dealing with in this villa and I'm stressed for them, right? They're gonna be fighting for their lives. And to be honest, as I was going through this cast, my heart rate was going up, but because I was scared. Screaming and crying, absolutely screaming and crying. Like if you screamed, comment if you cried. Um, subscribe if you're screaming and crying and throwing up. Thank you all for listening, and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace out, bye.